Hey everyone, it's Rob with VideoMarketingBuff.com and today I'm going to show you how to do a picture in a picture on your screen recording. And the software I'm using to do this today is called ScreenFlow. It's a great piece of software. Um, I use it to do marketing videos, uh, screen recordings, educational stuff, any kind of tutorial. Um, so, uh, and you know, this is really so easy. It's kind of crazy to be making a tutorial video for how to do it, but here we go. Here I am in ScreenFlow and if I go File, New, Recording, see I've, I've got some other options here, but if I keep it on New Recording, um, here it is. Record my desktop. I'm going to go ahead and say yes, let's do that. If I had my, my mobile device that I wanted to record the screen from, I could do that here. And then you want to check this box, Record Video from, uh, from the Camera. So if I check that, I can, um, I'm recording off my just webcam on my MacBook right now. Um, a quick tip here is is uh, it's got a few different formats and one of them this one is the uh, the high resolution you, you want to use that if you're going to like cut to a full screen view of your own face that's what I'm actually recording right now and we can cut to that ta da okay and and then um, we've got these other formats like the 320 by 240 this is great you know it's gonna keep your oh so what I want to say is this big one your file sizes can go up really fast especially for a long video if you're doing like a 30 minute um, really in-depth uh, teaching video or something don't record at that high um, that high res you're you're gonna run out of space really fast so I recommend choosing the amount of pixels that is going to be appropriate to how big that is going to be on your screen um, so if you just want that little tiny box in the corner go ahead with one of these um, that'll save you a ton of space and then you can also configure your microphone and so forth and I'm using my favorite uh, mic that I'll link to in the description here. It's a um, nice inexpensive mic. Makes me sound bassy and, and um, a lot better than the, the main thing here. And I've got my pop filter too because I have a problem with pops. Um, so so that's it. And uh, one of the things that I want to show you is uh, chroma key because this can be fun too. So I'm going to... Um, I'll be right back. Let me uh, get this footage into the product. Okay, so what I did here is I, I just hit uh, Command Shift 2 to stop recording and that clip that I was recording, you can see over here on the right hand side, um, I'm going to delete out what I had going here, my original test and drop this in so you can take a look at, at what we've got. Um, so here's my camera, uh, here's my uh, screen recording, we can, uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of different processing that you can do with the audio to make it um, sound a little bit nicer, move the background noise. Um, I like to smooth it and then I like to get my uh, my waveform to be um, just to where it's kind of coming up towards the edges here. This is a pretty good amount of um, sound that we're gonna have and you'll hear it in this video if you like how it sounds then then you like what's going on here. But um, let's talk about chroma key because that's kind of interesting. So um, I wasn't really planning on doing this, uh, but I've got this orange background going on behind me. And uh, what we can do is we can add a video filter. So we go into the video tab over here. And um, let's go ahead and drop in a video filter of chroma key. And so you can see now, yeah, orange is not a good color for chroma key. But uh, it's trying to find... Um, find me here and let's see what can I do can I get it I don't know um, so there's there's various settings you can use and so forth to try and get your get yourself out so pretend I had a, a good-looking green screen here you could um, you know you could do that and here I've mostly gotten that orange out uh, out of the background um, but if you were behind a green screen, this would be a kind of a cool way um, to composite yourself onto something else. And what you're seeing here, what I'm doing with this clip is actually I can resize it, I can position it. Um, I, you know, you can do whatever you want to do with this clip, just like you would normally do um, with the, if you were editing something else. So that is that's it in a nutshell. Uh, just drop yourself in. I'm actually not a fan of how that's looking, so I'm gonna kind of do that, replace that back, and and there we are. Uh, hope this was helpful.